Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is July 14, the 15th week in ordinary time. The gospel said, It will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first, The first reading is from the book of Isaiah. In the days of Ahaz, king of Judah, son of Jotham, son of Uziah, Rezan, king of Aram, and Pekah, king of Israel, son of Remaliah, went up to attack Jerusalem, but they were not able to conquer it. When word came to the house of David that Aram was encamped in Ephraim, the heart of the king and the heart of the people trembled, as the trees of the forest tremble in the wind. Then the Lord said to Isaiah, Go out to meet Ahaz, you and your son Shear Joshua, at the end of the conduit of the upper pool, on the highway of the fuller's field, and say to him, Take care you remain tranquil and do not fear, let not your courage fail before these two stumps of smoldering brands the blazing anger of Rezin and the Arameans, and of the son Remaliah, because of the mischief that Aram, Ephraim and the son of Remaliah, plots against you, saying, let us go up and tear Judah asunder, make it our own by force, and appoint the son of Tabiel king there. Thus says the Lord, This shall not stand, it shall not be. Damascus is the capital of Aram, and Rezin is the head of Damascus, Samaria is the capital of Ephraim, and Remaliah's son the head of Samaria. But within sixty years and five, Ephraim shall be crushed, no longer a nation. Unless your faith is firm you shall not be firm. Responsorial Psalm God upholds his city forever. Great is the Lord and holy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain, fairest of heights, is the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, the recesses of the north, is the city of the great king. God is with her castles, renowned is he as a stronghold. God upholds his city forever. For lo! The kings assemble, they come on together, they also see, and at once are stunned, terrified, routed. God upholds his city forever. Quaking seizes them there, anguish, like a woman's in labor as though a wind from the east were shattering ships of Tarshish. God upholds his city forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel According to Matthew Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of his mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the nether world, for if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Reflection It will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. If you reject God, then there is consequence. It is just but right. If you did not put in the work, if you did not do what the Lord wanted, if you did not follow the commandments and Jesus' teachings, then there will be consequence. No one can really say what those consequences are. There's never been anyone who had come back from the dead and recounted where he had been. Some had come back from going into the light as they said but never had anyone come back from where the evil one lingers. 
that's all for now. If you'd like to have your daily dose of the word of our Lord, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you won't miss out on such and other related uploads like novenas and prayers. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.